everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today we have a deck that is pretty crazy. Um, it was really just kind of thrown together. Um, I really wanted to feature, um, you know, a really cool card from Jumpstart that we just had not got to feature yet. Um, you know, and with the with the new set, with the Amonkhet coming out here just in a couple days, we wanted to feature this before then. So uh, real quick, though, before we hop into today's deck, I want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the channel and uh, enjoy the videos, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, that bell icon. Check out all of the cool links down below and join that Discord. So let's hop right into today's deck. And we are calling it Emil's Crew. Now, the cool card from Jumpstart we were talking about is Emil the Blessed. So this is a unicorn. And obviously with the uh, the logo... Uh, the channel logo or you know we do have that unicorn horn on our face so it's very fitting that we get to feature a really cool legendary unicorn uh, it is a four mana four four for three mana we get to exile another creature we control and then immediately put it back on the battlefield and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under our control we can pay white and if we do we get to put a plus one plus one counter on it but if it's a unicorn we get to put two plus one plus one counters on it so we're going to utilize this with a bunch of creatures that enter the battlefield and cause something to happen. So we have a ton of cards to go over. We have a lot of one ofs, we have a lot of two ofs, three ofs, uh, a couple four ofs that we felt like were super important. But let's let's just really go over everything really quickly. Now everything in this deck is a creature except for Cloud Shift. Cloud Shift is a one mana instant. It's another reprint from Jumpstart. And this just says, Exile target creature we control, then return that card to the battlefield under our control. So this does the same thing that Emil does, but for only one mana, um, a one-time instant. But the good thing about this, though, is it can save Emil um, or Emil, uh, you know, depending on how you pronounce uh, pronounce this card. But this could potentially save our unicorn if they go to try to kill it, uh, or it can enable some earlier interactions um, with some of our other creatures. So let's just go over the creatures here. We have Charming Prince. Charming Prince, basically, we, we get to choose a mode when it comes into play. Scry to gain three or blink a creature. Uh, Dusk Legion Zealot lets us pay one life to draw a card. Wall of Blossoms, one of my favorite cards of all time. Uh, it's an 0-4 wall for two. When it comes into play, we draw a card. Militia Bugler, when it comes into play, we get to look at the top four cards, and we put a creature card with power two or less in our hand. Baron. When he comes into play, we get to bounce something. If we bounce something of our own, then we get to draw a card at the end of the turn. Elvish, Reju Elvish Reju Rejuvenator. This is a card that we felt like was super important. Um, when it comes into play, we look at the top five cards. We put a land into play directly from our life. Uh, Champion of Lambo. This is a card I wanted to try out. Uh, anytime a creature enters the battlefield, um, the champion is going to get plus one, plus one. And then it says creatures with power less than champion uh, can't block creatures we control. So if we... We're trying to we're gonna be blinking a lot, so I'm gonna imagine champion's probably gonna get up to like a seven seven or an eight eight, and then they're not gonna be able to block this at all uh, or any of our creatures, and we're just gonna get in with everything. Uh, Selvala, uh, I only had one of these honestly. Um, this is a cool card. Uh, it's a two three for three. Uh, taps to add mana, but uh, whenever another creature enters a battlefield, its controller gets to draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. So if we're playing larger and larger creatures, uh, we're going to be able to draw cards. So, But our opponent does benefit off this too if they're playing large creatures, but we're just really trying to lock them out. We have a couple of Deputy of, Deten of Detentions. This is going to get rid of you know multiple copies of, of cards. Um, this gets rid of zombie tokens with all the Field of the Deads that are that are running around. We have a couple Knight of Autumns. This is going to allow us to either make put two counters on this, uh, destroy an artifact or enchantment, or gain four life. We have Thassa. Thassa is really cool in this deck. It is another blink effect. So we're going to be able to blink our creatures with Thassa. We have three Ravenous Chupacabras to kill creatures. And then obviously with the blink factor, we're going to be able to kill a lot of creatures. Uh, we have Atris. This is going to allow us to draw multiple cards. This basically, our opponent separates the top three cards of our libraries into two piles. One pile face up, one pile face down. And then we get to choose which pile we want. Hostage Taker is really good with blinking. Because once we take their creature or artifact, we then cast it, and then we blink it, and then we take something else of theirs. Uh, this is a card I really wanted to try out. 
Um, this mills two cards, and then we get to return a permanent card from our green. So if they're going to be killing creatures that we really want back in play, uh, this will allow us to get those creatures back. Thrag Tusk, this is a cool card from Jumpstart. That was a, a reprint, really powerful, at least it used to be. Five mana, five, three. When it enters the battlefield, we gain five life. And then when it leaves the battlefield, we get a three, three. And then the last couple cards, we have one copy of Chew Lane. Anytime we cast a creature spell, we draw a card and then can put a land in the battlefield and we can bounce creatures back to our hand. We have Yarok. This is going to be super powerful if we get our engine going because anytime a permanent enters the battlefield and causes an ability to trigger, we get to trigger it twice. And last but not least, Muldrotha. Muldrotha is a really cool card. Um, this is a card I w was really stoked about once it got printed in Dominaria. I bought a bunch of copies of this um, for like 50 cents. And uh, what it says is during each of your turns, you may play a land card, uh, or you may play a land and cast the permanent spell of each permanent type from your graveyard. So you can play a creature, you can play an artifact, you can play an enchantment. We're not really utilizing all of the different the modes, but we're getting to replay creatures and lands from our graveyard. If they... All right, with that being said, we're going to wrap this up so we can get into the gameplay. We are playing 33 lands because we're playing Yorion as our, as our uh, companion. I wanted to highlight that. So this is an 80 card deck, so Yorion belongs in it. So 33 lands. Let's see what happens. Hop into the gameplay. We will see you guys at the wrap-up. All right, well, <clears throat> let's see what uh, Emil can do. Emil, Emil, I don't know um, how you pronounce it, but sweet unicorn. Let's see what we can do. I am, I like this hand. I wonder if this person's name is Yen At or Yena. So, Zagoth Triome. We don't have Zagoth. We just have Dotha. We will play in Dotha Triome. You're going to have a Growth Spiral because you always have the Growth Spiral. Always, always, always. Okay. Well, we're going to draw cards. be cool if you could if you had multiple um card styles if you were able to like combine them oof ooh, ooh, this is not good we're already uh, that far ahead huh already that far ahead well You have seven land, or six land right now, to our three. There's the seven. Oh, so the game's over. Hmm. Ban Growth Spiral. Missions. Yep. Uh, guess we don't give him that. Yep, yep. Well, okay. So we don't want to necessarily draw additional cards, but we're going to kind of have to. This doesn't draw cards, but we're looking for enchantment room. Fine. We're looking for enchantment removal. And we are going to discard that. They get to play everything for free. We have to get this omniscience off the board as soon as possible. Oh. And the game is over. They go get their 
we draw a million cards card, and that's that. Yep. Was it, though? Was it a good game? How many triggers? Uh, it's all of them. Yep. And there you have it. That is a stupid deck. All right, well, that's unfortunate. We have to stay positive and hydrate. Canis 91. All right, well, if we draw a land. This should be pretty. Yeah, if we draw land, we are going to be off to the races land-wise. So opponent is deciding on a mulligan. They are slow to decide. We're gonna keep. Come on, deck. Come on. And please don't give us a triome. Unless you're gonna give it to us this turn. Are they on elves? Yep, there's a land or elf. Oh no. Come on, deck. Come on, one time. One time, friend. Rut row. This is a scape shift deck. Oh, it was a triome. Are you kidding me? It's exactly what I I asked you not to do. Oh, they don't have anything, but have to go for land because we did not draw land. Um, yeah, I think. They have seven mana. Eight mana. They don't have a Nugan. We're going to block. Because they would have just snap dropped a Nugan there. That's fine. That's actually really good. But hopefully we're not punished here. And we'll block. Two lane. Okay, let's see what happens. So they still get to attack with their dryads. Because the dryads don't... Don't really do anything here. This is... Okay, this is good. This is good. So... Do we... Let's draw land. You're not a land. How dare you. Um, no attacks. We're discarding. What are we discarding? Holy primeval bounty. Luckily, though. Yep. A two life. Destroy an enchantment. Ooh. 
Ooh, nice. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. Um, no attacks. What's in our graveyard? Two rejuvenators. An Atris. We really have to put something together here, though. Because our opponent has a lot of, a lot of mana. Trying to figure out what our next play is going to be here. We have eight mana. We could Muldrotha, but then we don't get to cast anything the same turn. And I feel like against their deck, I want to cast Muldrotha and then play something. If we draw land, I think I think I play Silvala and then Muldrotha. Could actually just, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to Silvala Thrag Tusk if we don't draw land. I think I'm going to do that anyway. But they might be roping. They might have realized that their time is up. Well, we drew a land, but yeah, like like I mentioned, I, th I think we're still going to. Hostage Taker changes thing. Does it though? I don't think it does. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna draw cards. So Vala's pretty good. I mean, she is a mythic. So. So it is worth noting, I did toy around with another build um, with the unicorn, but with uh, the companion that... Um, Makes all your activated abilities cost uh, cost less. So, I think I think this person has had enough. I think this person has had enough. We're just gonna sit through. Um, there we go. I think they had enough. They did draw a lot of land, so they probably got a little a little salty about that. Yeah. So we we toyed around with a. A version that was just red white played three or four copies of what is it Zerta the one that uh, reduces the cost of your activated abilities and um, just mainly played unicorns so um, I think we keep land or elf okay you're just playing against elves This is going to be tough. Oh no, okay, so it's not just elves. Well, right now it's just elves. Oh, come on, deck. Give us that land. Give us that land. How are we not? I wish this was a... Oh no. Now we definitely need a 100%. Oof! Oh, that was a... 
That was scary for a second. Definitely scary. So. Their deck's gonna have, so we need another land. Hey, right on time. No attacks. So they're going to have a lot of big... A lot of big spells in their deck that we're going to have to worry about. I'm more worried about their Llanowar Elf right now than anything. Now, oh, that comes out of the... He can just take it out of the graveyard? Okay, well... Wow. Okay. Cellist, well, I'm sorry about that. I would have kept playing because you could still just easily draw out of this, but yeah. All right, next game. Yeah, I definitely would not have conceded there. Um, they could have easily still drawn out of it again, and this is just assuming we know what's in their deck. They've they've got to be playing some some number of Ulamogs. Some number of Ugins. Maybe not Ugins, but I would imagine. When you're trying to ramp that quickly, um, you have another finale. Alex Fierro, 42. They get to go first. He could draw a land. Oh, okay. Go ahead and go sack it for a forest. Mountain, what are you doing? All right, I'll keep this one. Blue, red, oh, kiln fiend. We have to buy some time. I don't know if we can because we're not drawing the lands we want. Do it to it. Make it a four. Opt. Shock. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. All right, deck. If there was ever a time we needed to land. That comes into play untapped. It's not a shock. This is a lot to ask for. We'll take a shock. Fury 8. Oh, are they about to... Inf huh. Wow. Okay. Straight to the point. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did it. Yeah, that game was uh, a little anticlimactic. Just 20 us on turn four. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I forgot about that card. That's it. Well, it's an M21 card. And we don't really play a lot of M21, really. I don't feel like we featured a ton of M20. We featured some, but maybe not the commons and uncommons. Yeah, that's just a car that just was not on my radar. But I mean, with Kiln Fiend, you know, you're probably just going to get double struck out of the game anyway. I think we have to keep this. Quiet. All right, what are we going to see? A forest or a swamp? Probably a forest. Yep, nailed it. Growth spiral. 
Oh, land realms. Okay. So. We will go ahead and land of the triome since we are not doing much over here. We are definitely going to snag that risen from the board. So you're probably playing the combo. I would love to draw a Choops. That's fine. Ah, they might be playing Shock. Awkward. Awkward, no blocks. I don't know if it's maybe it maybe we should have played this. Um really don't care about Moldrotha right now. I really feel like they have a shock in their hand. Okay. Um no red mana. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. <laughs> Definitely not attacking. Okay, well, I'm glad we took that, so... I mean, this has to be game, right? Yeah. Alright, quiet. Oh, good game, good game. Alright. We are... 3 and 2 right now, I believe. I'd really like to at least get this uh, unicorn into play. We will... I guess we're going to keep this. This is awkward. We have a wall of blossom. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I think it's mono green. Land or elf, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I hope we don't regret not taking this Knight of Autumn. Right? Oh, a beast. So is this just elves? Ah, uh, Militia Bugler. Bugler, thanks for, thanks for having vigilance. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Castle. Heal Leaf Champion. Elvish Visionary, okay. So I think what we have to do is we have to get this Chupacabra online right now.
And then we can Thassa next turn. Clan Caller, okay. Ooh, another Clan Caller. That's not good. Um, why didn't you attack? Let's pay some life. Play a Wall of Blossoms. Go and get a Thassa into play. Attacks. We're gonna Thassa the Chups. Oh, man. Good game. Good game. That's what's up. That is what's up. Well, still. Still not getting to utilize our unicorn friend. Maybe we just have to play four in a deck. This person's name. Zombie Montana. Uh, we're going first. We will keep. Don't have any black mana. It's unfortunate, but we do have a Wall of Blossoms. Wall of Blossoms is one of my all-time favorite magic cards. Um... That is black man, so we're just gonna go and play that. Alright, so this is the Garrison Sacrifice deck. We will let you waste your precious creatures on our Wall of Blossoms. Do it to it. Really? Okay. Um, we take Baron. I think we take Baron. Okay. I'm very intrigued. So we're definitely going to Chupacabra this priest. Hopefully they don't have another priest. And then I feel like from there, if they can't kill the Chupacabra, we should be fine. Okay. We'll probably get in with Woe Strider also for three. Interesting. What do they have for two? Blood Artist, okay. Blood Artist is fine. Yep, we'll take one. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, luckily for us. Unfortunately, we can't just play it right there, but let us draw land. All right, here comes the priest. Unfortunate. But... We're going to just make them recast this. And then... Then we can Charming Prince it. Oh, 
man. Maybe we don't. Do you think we'll draw land here? No blocks. Well, we definitely drew a land there. Yeah, maybe attacking is not the best the best idea there. Yeah, but we take two more. So I think we... Do we lose? Two. Yeah, we lose. We lose. Good game. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. We'll do it for you. Good game. All right, well, we, you guys are gonna get one more, one more bonus game, because we had some pretty quick games. I feel like, even though I felt like this game, this deck should have been playing a little bit longer. Um, opponent goes first. Trium, Trium. I mean, we're keeping. Okay, well, they're not doing anything either. They'll play two of the same land. We'll play two of the same land. And then a... Hostage taker for the third land. Or, uh, Hinterland Harbor for their third land. We will do the same. Uh, we saw a lot of good cards there. Bring it. Bring it. Gimme Risen Reeves. Uh, really? Really? Really, really? I felt so good about that, too. Like, really good about playing that. Block. All right, let's, let's get some land. Drag tusk. Okay. No blocks. We're not going to give you any value on that Elspeth Conqueror deck at all. Uh, yep. Um. Oh, 
There we go. There's a cool card that we can take. I mean, we're generating pretty good value here. We're actually not too worried about Field of the Dead at all. Um, we're actually probably going to use that to cycle. You know what? No attacks. That's fine. You can have a 3-3. But we have to... We have to really worry about settle the wreckage. So. Okay, Uro. We don't we don't care about Uro at all. We really just don't care about zombies. Because we'll hit a uh, deputy, a deputy eventually. Ooh, fun, 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 fun. Just get in a little bit at a time. You can't block. Um, we are going to bounce. I guess we'll just bounce the bugler. Pretty good. Pretty good. I've seen better. Seen better. Attacks and turn. Yeah, I want to keep man up for this cloud shift. Um, again, they're in a they're in a pretty tough spot. gonna tap that because if we don't play any other creatures first we can at least start getting in
we are going to exile Baron. Baron is going to... Oh, I meant to click on the bugler. Whoops. That was a lot of overgrown tubes in one little chunk there. Oh, beginning of end step. That doesn't really combo. Right, here comes old Uro. I really even wonder if they are playing. This is enough to So if we bounce everything So if we Yorion, Yorion everything out I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to exile a militia bugler. I think we're going to we're going to go and play Yorian. This champion's gonna be pretty huge. And now we're, we're good. Um, Baron. You know what? We're actually going to bounce. We're going to bounce Yorian. I changed my mind. There we go. All right, well, um, I feel like we're still at a point where we have to watch out for Uh, settle the wreckages. Oh. So... That's, again, if you're wondering why we're not just all out swinging, that is the main reason. As a giant champion. All 
Alright, well. We have nothing really. So. We'll just bugle some more. So I think next turn what we're going to do... Oh, uh, we missed. Uh, we're just going to swing with the champion. We're going to play the uh, Emil, uh, Emil. And then we are going to swing with the champion. And... Okay. I feel like if Teferi was legal at all... Alright, well, moment of truth. Really? All right, well. Um, decline. Let's see what we get here. And we're not paying because we have nine mana. So, fine. Um, we'll just grab another another emu. This game has actually turned pretty crazy. We have a twenty-three twenty-three champion. They're at one life. Okay, well, we're getting them to tap out now, so. Yeah, so they definitely they definitely have some kind of settle. So I think we just attack with Tag with these. Here comes the settle. All right, well. I don't even want him to know that we have Cloud Shift at all. I don't really care about those. Um, I don't even know if we have any basics. Well, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, well. Not really going to do anything here. We don't need to. This is a crazy game. They drew a ravenous chupacabra. So can we Definitely not swinging with Thassa at all. We're going to swing with you, you, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have another one. Oh, there we go. We got it. Awesome. That was a crazy game, and I'm sorry it took so long, but yeah. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap-up, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we didn't do too bad. We went five and three. That last game was like 20 minutes. Um, that was pretty crazy that we got to actually see the deck in action. We actually did correctly play against, uh, play, um, you know, and anticipate and play against them potentially having a settle the wreckage, which they did, uh, and we were able to really just play around it really patiently, and they couldn't really do anything. So... That was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we at least got to see a, a cool game like that. Um, yeah, uh, I can't really go into the details of this. You know, we didn't, we never really got Yarok going. We never got Muldrotha going. But I do feel like we got to see at least a little bit of everything else uh, happening. Yeah, we had some like kind of confusing uh, interactions with uh, Yori in that last game because um, we'd play something, we'd see some triggers happening, and then we decide, you know what? We don't want to necessarily do that or take that line of action. Let's really undo our whole plan and then just let let's just everything let's just let all of our creatures throw up onto the board and just get in there and just you know just have a crazy crazy party time. So uh, yeah, Silvala really didn't play a factor either. So uh, our cards our cards that really didn't do anything are going to be these. Uh, obviously, though. We won on the back of that last game with Champion because they could not block. And uh, Emil finally got to uh, be utilized. We got to play Cloud Shift. We, we really got to do everything we wanted to do in that last game. And I'm really, really glad that we actually got to play that last game because we decided to play one more bonus game since all of the, uh, the other games were so short. So we did have a potential to lose out and go even, but luckily uh, we won and went five and three. And I'm pretty happy with this. So again, uh, I'm really excited for just in a couple days, we have uh, Amonkhet coming coming back out. It's going to be like 300 something cards. We're going to open a ton of packs. And I'm really, really, really excited to be playing. There's just so many cards that I know are just going to be so crazy. And it's just going to, the format is just going to completely change with this many cards. We're going to, we're going to be seeing um, you know, and just, just some quick little, um, you know, if you've made it this far, I do appreciate it, 
but you know we're going to be seeing some crazy artifact decks um there's um we're going to be seeing probably a we're going to probably be seeing solemnity decks i'm really anticipating solemnity decks really really um becoming really big for multiple reasons solemnity solemnity and nine lives is pretty much almost uh, unbeatable um also solemnity is kind of a really cool way to interact with um blast zone blast zone you can actually play now with solemnity with solemnity and board on play and um it doesn't get a counter and then you can actually kill tokens with it so there's just going to be a lot of interactions with solemnity in itself um there's going to be there's going to be um internalized decks there's going to be more red there there's just so much and on top of it they've been there's they're rumored to be reprinting some of the masterpieces like thought seas and wrath of god pact of negation um just a lot the grave some graveyard hate cards so the format is gonna almost start looking a lot like maybe pioneer or modern um not completely but definitely um there's definitely going to be a huge mix up so we're going to have a ton of decks to play with really really so stay tuned for that so all right again if you enjoyed the video please hit that subscribe button the like button the bell icon check out all of the cool links down below uh discord patreon twitch uh everything down below and also leave a comment let me know what you think about this deck and what you're excited to see about nam and Ket, so all right, with that being said, you guys enjoy your week. Stay safe. We will see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel. Thank <laughs> you.